because I need inspiration and healing. And just their stories and what they're doing to make change has touched me. And I asked them three things. I said, I, I want you to tell a short story. See, today, we, we don't really want to talk about all the tragic stuff that happened and, you know, we know it's bad or else we wouldn't be here. But they're going to give a short story of what happened. And then they're going to let you know what their concerns are. And we're not just about it. See, my grandmother used to always say, I can show you better than I can tell you. They have some solutions and some suggestions, and they're going to tell us about it. I'm Tamika, I'm Derek Harris's mother, Tracy's friend, and family, whatever y'all want to call me, it is what it is. But I'm here today, we're here to, with each other always at every event, trying to help and support each other. We have our own differences. I'm the retaliator, she's the peacemaker. <laughs> but it is what it is, and I feel different about different things that has occurred. I have my own opinion. You know, I... Like she said, I speak out and I feel how I feel about different stuff. I hear different stuff in the street. It bothers me when somebody tries to put your child, your children, throw them under the bus to make things seem like they're okay, to make it seem like it's okay for you to be and kill these three kids. Ours, it's not okay. There is no explanation for this. It is no reason for this. Strictly selfishness of a person trying to do what God do and that's judge them. That was not their place to do that. But they chose to do that. We don't have our kids. But we're here today. Stick together. We're going to do this. Either way it go. You know, I'm here for the long run. This is not going to take. It's not going to be easy. And I'm here for the long run, no matter what. I just feel like we're going to, our, our purpose is to get these guys under, and to, to get justice for these guys that killed our kids. Fortunately, it hasn't been easy. Um, we've been working with the police, and well, now I don't work with them, I talk to them, but we've been trying to talk to them and get it, you know, understanding and try everything we do, we try to inform them about what's going on with our kids. Unfortunately, they listen. It don't seem like they listen, but I guess they listening. But it's been hard for us, hard to think about and miss our kids, but hard to do our homework and find out what happened to them that day, that moment, that hour, those hours we stood out there on that um, um, and was wondering what happened. I don't think either one of us knew to check the perimeter when we were there, but it was a lot of stuff going on in our face that we didn't realize that if we would have been on our stuff, we probably could have caught them a lot faster. But God work in mysterious ways, and they will get caught either way it go. By God's choice or the street's choice, you can't get away with murdering someone's kid and think you finna live right consciously and be amongst people and their families. And we look at you, and we know, some of y'all know who did this. All of y'all know who did this. Not one, two, but a community know what happened. For you to shush it and put it under the under the carpet and think it's going to get swept away, it's not. I'm going to be in the streets, rolling around everywhere and anywhere I decide to go. And if I think I know where you at, I'm coming. So it's like, it's hard to deal with and it's very dangerous. It's dangerous when you, when you don't know what happened to your kid and you're a mom and you want to know what happened to your kid, it's very dangerous. But my thing is this, that I, be, I try to be careful, got to try, try to, you know, every time I find out something, I tell Tracy, it's not easy to do to share with someone what someone else is saying about your kid or your kids. Even with mine, I get mad. Don't, if I know different of my son, I get very upset. But we're just, I'm here to help her and she's been there for me, to help me. And in so many ways, she's been very enlightening to my life as far as the situation go. I didn't expect this day. That day when it came, I just, I don't even accept it right now. Like, he's not supposed to not be here with us. They're not supposed to not be here with us. I mean, it's just, it's hard, it's hard as hell. It, it hurts, so. Like right now, I'm picturing him driving his car, and girlfriend, and, and doing 
stuff a kid do. Like, he didn't even get a chance to make it to 21. He didn't even get a chance to, to, to grow with me, to know, to ask for my advice about something like that. I wish I would have known it was going to happen to, like, be able to tell him how to avoid a person. But God didn't want it that way. I don't say God didn't want it that way. They didn't want it that way because God didn't call them. They caught them. They they killed our kids. They murdered our kids. It is not they're gone and God wanted to take them. God wasn't ready for them. Someone chose them in place of God. I'm going to wrap it up because I got so much to say, but unfortunately, I love Tracy and their family. Their family has been there for me, several different ones. I mean, they know who they are. My Lorraine, Demetra, LaRonda, even my Isha crazy ass. But <laughs> um, Nicole, my mama Gladys, all of them, Brandy crazy self, um, Tristy, all of them been there. I mean, you know, it's more, it's way more than that. And I got family and friends, but I just, I'm doing a me thing. Like, I'm so mad. I don't even, sometimes I can't even be around people because I'm so mad. And I don't want anybody else's day to be ruined because of how I feel. So I go to myself and I try to deal with it. It's not working. God knows it's not working, but it's working to where I don't hurt nobody or nobody gets hurt because that's how I feel about this situation. Like, But as a community, I do think we can stop it. I do think we can stop it. Even though it's not that many men involved, that hurts too. Like, where are the men? Y'all so macho and stuff. Like, where y'all at? But there ain't nobody around to help us. I mean, yay, there you go. Matt, self, I see your shirt and say self made. I can't wait to get on your, your level. For real. But at the same time, it's like, we're just here to, I'm just here to help. Tracy and Tracy is there with me. I'm here for the long run. Know that. Who killed Lee Weathersby? Don't all speak at once. You see, that's something we've been asking for the last 10 months. Y'all remember Lee Weathersby, right? The 13-year-old walking home when these two assailants got up their cars whose heart was full of stone. Child. December 31st, he thought he would make it the seven blocks it took to get home to tell his mother and brother Happy New Year. He did it. All I can ask is who would kill my son? Who would do that to him? So as we, me and my family mourning and grieving the loss of my 13-year-old, and we buried him on January 16, 2014. Three days later, it happened again to my 19-year-old, my last remaining child and his childhood friend, Derek Harris. 19 days apart, my kids were murdered. Oh, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Lord. <laughs> As I looked through Lamar and Derek, they left the house. 45 seconds after they drove down the streets, they were killed. Y'all know me as the California mom that lost both her kids 19 days apart. I'm known as Lee Weathersby and Lamar Broussard mother, and I will always be known as their mother. So in the process of burying my two kids 30 days apart, one was cremated and the other one was put into the ground. I wanted to die. My God, why hast thou forsaken me, I asked. What did I do wrong? 
to where these people would do this to my kids. Death happens all the time. Murders happen all the time. And I asked, why me? I was a good mom. But good moms don't save your kids. I, got, I graduated from college. BS in criminal justice, minor in sociology. That didn't save my kids from these people on the streets. I worked. I was working up until the day my baby was shot 27 times. That didn't save him up on the streets. My name is Danielle New, and this is my story, part of my story. My solution is, we know who did this. Nobody wants to come forward. Nobody wants to say something. This stop snitching rule has got to stop. If my kids was pulled, killed by the police, everyone would know who did it. They would be convicted in the, in the, in the, in the, um, the news and everything already. But because of this is street crimes, nobody wants to say nothing. My solution is, okay, I'm gonna put some money on the head. How about that? Nobody wanna talk? I'm gonna be like, just, just like the lady who raised the money, $100,000 to find the killers of her child. Once that money got put forward, then the, the person came forward. So if I gotta go to 20,000 Oakland residents at one time and ask for $5, that's what we been doing. If I gotta put my money up front and sell these t-shirts to get this money raised, that's what I'ma do. Cause you are not gonna kill my kids and I'ma sit up here and just not do nothing. Y'all picked the wrong mama. I'ma let y'all know that now. Yeah. Let them, y'all pick the wrong mama. They like that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know nothing about this. BG, Beatrice and Oscar Grant came to me and you got a story to tell and you get out there and you make sure that justice is done and you make sure you speak out and that's where I got my strength from. Didn't even know them eight, not 10 months ago. Next door neighbors and, and you know, introduced me to them. And then I got on Facebook and I seen other mothers as, as Geraldine, Indiana, and Crystal. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and Calandria who got out there and they fought for their justice for their kids, and I'm gonna be the same way. You guys have inspired me, whether you not know it or not. You know what I'm saying? And I, my family, thank you guys so much, too. They have been there, they are my support system, everyone. Thank you guys, let me make y'all cry. All right now. <laughs>